Great students, in this video we are going to graph the basic uh, logarithmic function which is y is equal to logarithm or log of x. So typically if you don't see a base uh, it's because this base here it's a 10. All right, so if you don't see a base, it's because that base right here is always a 10. And so let's graph uh, this parent function. There's three main points. Uh, any function will always have a point of 1, 0. All right, so that's going to be 1, 0. And then another point will be 1 over 10 comma negative one. That would be another point. So one tenth negative one, right about here. And another point will be ten comma one. So ten comma one right here. So these will give us the three points of this uh, logarithmic function. This is what we call the parent function and we can use we can use these three points to find any graph really to graph any function um, but really quick uh, here the domain is going to be uh, domain is going to be um, all numbers greater than zero range the range here is uh, well all real numbers and we have an asymptote, asymptote. Uh, remember that that's that barrier here that the graph cannot go over. So this one here is basically the y-axis. The y you can say y-axis, or you can say x equals zero. Uh, do we have any x-intercepts? Uh, we do. We do have. 1x intercept 1 0 okay so now let me show you when this is um, it's got a different base let's say a base of another number uh, so let's just clear this really quick let's clear this and let's say that we have y y is equal to the log base b of um, let's say let's come up with something unique here um, x I don't know if that's unique okay so to graph this function we need three points alright so we know that one of those points is going to be 1 0 one zero. Uh, the second point will be one over b, comma negative one. And the third point is going to be b, comma one. All right. So whatever base that is, you just simply take that value and substitute it into these two points. And then that will give us it will give us three points, and that's all we need to fun to graph the logarithmic function. So let's do one example. Uh, let's say I have uh, let's say the logarithmic base six of x. So let's graph this. All right, so I need three points. One of those points is going to be one zero. Another point will be one sixth comma negative one, and then six one. All right, so one zero, that's right here. Um, one sixth negative one, two, three, four, so right about here negative 1, and then we have 6, 1. All right.
right so we have this function here and we can actually type it to make sure that you know we're we're on it let's see if we can type this really quick uh, give me one second let's let's type this y is equal to log let's see if it does it if it does it for me here base six x and let's see if it types it nope it doesn't type it doesn't want to do that uh, oh here we go six okay let's try this there we go there we go so if you notice that it it's pretty much what we had before three points you got those three points right there so there's a point here that's one six negative one one zero and this one here which is uh, six six one all right um, let's I hope that makes sense let's do a couple more let's uh, clear all this clear everything and let's do let's get rid of this uh, let's do another one let's say it's uh, let's see bear with me guys here we go let's do y is equal to uh, log base 10 of x minus 2 okay so let's start with the parent function uh, the parent function would be y equals log base 10 of x okay so from this one you have three points already one tenth negative one you have one zero and you have ten one all right from our prior lessons remember when we have some sort of change inside the uh, parentheses that means that's a horizontal movement horizontal movement okay and we have a if we have a number at the outside that would be a vertical number a vertical change or vertical movement in this case what we have here is x minus 1 inside that parentheses so we are going to just take this parent function and shift it to the right two units All right to the right two units that's all we do so think about this if you shift everything to the right two units what's going to change the x or the y value all right so let's let's grab the parent function really quick parent function is going to be log of x right there so that right there is the parent function all right so that's the parent function right there now we're going to move everything to the right two units just everything is moved to the right two units all right so this point here is one zero I just move it to the right two units one two so now it's right there all right uh, ten one was up here 10 1 all we do is move it to the right two units uh, we have 1 6 negative 1 move it to the right two units 1 2 so now this is what we have and so the new the new uh, function and would look something like this all right now what's the domain domain is going to be all numbers greater than greater than 2 
the range is going to be again all real numbers uh, the asymptote asymptote is x equals 2 and the x-intercept 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 is 3 0 alright so just keep that in mind if we have any numbers inside the parentheses that's a horizontal shift if it's on the outside it's a vertical shift either up or down uh, okay let me know if you have any questions